man, is it good to see this guy in the big show. There is a real possibility that he'll employ his excellent Muay Thai kickboxing to get the opponent out of there early tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks and knees and punches, elbows in the clinch, and any one of them could be a fight ender at any given time. Scary proposition, really, to everyone in this division now that he finally is where he belongs in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Seven Struve comes from a Dutch kickboxing background and has a towering reach advantage over most of his opponents. He's also an extremely effective submission artist and ends a lot of his fights by locking in a choke. Training at the American Kickboxing Academy under Javier Mendez and of course under the leadership of his father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is not a man you want on top of you. This is not a man you want to get punched in the face by. Plus skills in all areas of mixed martial arts for the Dagestan Russian born Khabib, the Eagle Nurmagomedov, who is putting together one of the greatest legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters 29 years of age. Struve weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 14-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Why do you have a fever with the Netherlands? Step on skyscraper! Ooh. And now we're producing his opponent. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an honor to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. up here showing good defense here controlling that arm keeping him from hitting him he's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground and he moves into the mouse hip escape nice hip escape he's got his back Nermanko Medov gets caught with that punch he'd be wise to get those hands up
excellent movement here on the ground. He's got side control. He's looking for Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. He's got that arm locked. Look at that. That is high level ground game there. That's it. That's it. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time, he wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. We get the official decision with Bruce Buffer. Referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habiba So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who is going to be even more dominant than he already is now. The Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting his hand raised in a big way here tonight.